What's the best wavelength? People get very confused about wavelength. They argue that their wavelength is the best and, and theirs is perfect and everything else is horrible. And that's just not true. One way to term that is BS. It's just not true. The research clearly states that 810 is the most effective wavelength. Now, it doesn't mean that if you have a different wavelength, it won't work. It's just not as effective as 810 because 810 is very deeply penetrating and quite cool, actually. You get into the higher wavelengths like 980 and you get a lot of heat. And because the heat, you have to back off, you have to lower the dose, you have to be careful. And you don't want to lower the dose with a wavelength that's less effective. Now, another wavelength that's very effective is 660. That's been found to be very effective. And that means that 660 is effective. Why? Because it is taken up well by the blood and that goes through the circulatory system and can be quite beneficial, whereas 810 is deeper and it goes deeper into the tissues. So generally 810 and 660 are the best. 400 nanometers is not so great, but it's ultraviolet. That's good for disinfecting surfaces, but also can be carcinogenic. A little bit's a great thing. You get some UV from the sun, that's wonderful, but a lot of it we know is not good for us. 500 has some ability to be antibacterial, antiviral, that's good. Although infrared, you know, 660, 810, those are very effective, the red and infrared at being antiviral as well, especially 810. So the bottom line is any wavelength works, but 810 and 660 are proven to be the most popular wavelengths in the research literature and where the research literature says that they are the most effective. And you'll see some information right after this that documents that 980 is not as effective as 810.